Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zita and on my channel I share with you DIYs and makeovers on a budget. And don't forget to follow me over on my socials at Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and Etsy. So let's get started on today's DIYs. <music> So today, guys, I'm going to be working on upcycling some old vases that I had thrifted, some that were given to me as gift with flowers, some that were purchased at the dollar store. So first here, I'm using the Fusion Altered Grip. This is going to help the paint adhere to my vases a lot easier. And I'll be putting one coat of this Fusion Ultra Grip on each of the vases. And as you can see here, guys, this Fusion Ultra Grip will go on kind of like a milky white, but once it dries, it will dry to a clear matte finish. And right here, guys, the next step, I'm using a bare matte black spray paint for the first coat for these first two vases I'm going to do. And I want to put a black undercoat as the base coat because the technique that I'm going to be doing on these, I want the black to show through once I put a spray white spray paint on top of this black. And I just gave these one coat of black spray paint and let it dry before I sprayed it with the white spray paint. For the other two vases, I'll be giving them a textured finish and I'll be using equal portions of baking soda and I have an interior white paint here that I had left over. Just giving that a good stir. I just have a little bit of paint left in that can, so I'm kind of just judging how much baking soda, but usually it's equal portions of paint in baking soda. So I've let that Fusion Ultra Grip dry before applying that first coat of paint. And I'm using a chippy brush here that is from Walmart, I believe. Works really well for the textured finish. Doesn't that texture look awesome, guys? The baking soda really gives it a nice texture. Have you guys tried this method before? Let me know in the comments. So I'm back to the vases that I spray painted black. And right here I have some elastics. And this is the technique I'm going to be using on these. 
So what I'm doing here is I'm putting the elastics on each of the vases and placing them where I want. And when I spray paint these white, where I have the elastics, the black is going to show through. And as you can see here guys, I'm using a few different sizes of elastics. Some are a little thicker than others and some I'm placing straight, some I'm placing in a crisscross fashion. And you can place your elastics on however you want and how many you want. I wanted quite a bit of that black to show through on that rectangular shaped one and just a few on the round one. Now it's time for the white spray paint and I'm using a Rust-Oleum white matte finish. So I've let that white spray paint dry and I gave it two coats of white spray paint. Now I'm taking these elastics off and you'll see that that black underneath is going to show through. Isn't this an awesome technique? I love it. That looks really nice, doesn't it guys? Now I'm just gonna sand down the edges after. I really like those thick black pieces better, but it kind of gives it a little bit of dimension with the thin portions of the black and then the thick. Now I'm just giving it a, a light sanding with uh, a light sandpaper here. Just get those rough edges off. And just go light with the sand block so it uh, doesn't take any of the black off. Now I'm just wiping away that dust. And here are the two other round vases and I'm going to be using a different technique on these. I'm going to be using a splash technique on one and then a bubble technique on the other. So right here I just used some black acrylic paint and a little bit of water. Probably didn't need as much water as I put in there. You just need a little bit. So I'm kind of just giving it a, a dripping and then some splashes. And I kind of get carried away with this. I just want to keep keep going. <laughs> so you probably 
don't need as much as I'm doing here. Probably would have looked a little bit nicer with a little less, I think. But like I said, I, I kind of just <laughs> want to keep going. I get carried away. <laughs> What do you think guys? Did I put too much on here? Would you guys have stopped earlier or does this look good? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. So for this next one, I've added some Dawn dish soap in here to make some bubbles. And I'll be using the bubble technique on this so I get the bubbles to come up over the cup and then I just kind of just lay them on and with this one I think I get a little carried away as well <laughs> I think this would have looked good with a little less bubbles too but it, I think it turned out pretty nice in the end again let me know in the comments after you see the finished product here if you would have stopped with the bubbles a little sooner as well i think i feel like a little kid with these bubbles so i just keep going <laughs> And be careful not to fill up the cup with too much paint because you don't want it to run out over the cup. You want to get the bubbles just to come up over the cup. And this is what I was talking about right there. I got some spillage on the side. So I just kind of blew the bubbles up high over the cup. So make sure you get your bubbles high up over the cup so you don't get any spillage like I just did right there. <laughs> What do you think guys? Did I put too many bubbles? I think it turned out pretty nice though. Let me know what you guys think. Too many bubbles or not enough bubbles. <laughs> and guys, I did put a sealant on these at the end just to make them waterproof. Here's the reveal guys for the four different vases I worked on today with a few different techniques. Let me know in the comments what you thought of these techniques. <laughs> 